So this is how we prepare the most probable number technique. Again, we have to work around the flame to in order to ensure aseptic conditions. So we are working with a McConkey purple broth with a Durham cube inside and we are preparing an MPN that is a, a 3 tube MPN For the sample, we'll be do it carrying out a serial dilution to three orders. So uh, minus one, minus two, and minus three. So this is the sample. So all the test tubes have been filled with nine mils of uh, broth and also saline. So now we will place, using a blue micropipette, place 1000 microlit or 1 mil of sample into the first uh, dilution tube. We always flame the mouth of the test tube in order to expand the air there so that no contamination from the surrounding air goes into the tube okay so we'll start with the minus one tube okay you can mix it by uh, drawing in and out dispensing and aspirating it up the my blue micro pipette or you can also use the vortexer to mix it. So you can use a, a vortexer to mix your dilution well. Okay, once you have vortex this diluent, the once you've vortexed the test tube, you can continue with the serial dilution 1 mil from the minus 1 tube, proceed to by the minus 2 tube. Okay, so 1 mil of sample in 9 mils of uh, diluent that will give a 10 times dilution. Okay, once you've carried out the serial dilution, you'll have your minus 1, minus 2, and minus 3 samples ready. Then you can proceed to dispense the sample into the MPN tubes. So usually I will start with the one with the uh, highest dilution, which is uh, minus 3. This is in order to minimize crossover contamination. So from minus 3 to minus 2 to minus 1. Okay, so 1 mil each from the sample tube to the MPN tube. Once you've done everything, uh, you can incubate them 